Hey y'all, so today I'm making chicken teriyaki pineapple bowls with bacon fried rice. Here's a glimpse of everything that you'll need, but don't worry, I'm going to go into details as I'm cooking. Important side note, just make sure that your rice is at least one day old. I'm just going to start off by cooking the broccolini in some hot water until it's a shiny green like this. Then I moved on to seasoning the chicken, which I'm using four pieces of skinless boneless thighs, which I cut into strip like sizes. For the seasoning, I mix one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, and half a tablespoon of black pepper. But I only use half of that to season the chicken, which I'm going to save the rest for later. I cut up seven strips of bacon, which I'm going to cook until it's a little extra crispy. Then I cooked the chicken until it's golden brown and then I added one tablespoon each of teriyaki sauce and spicy Korean barbecue sauce. Then I moved on to cooking the eggs which I'm using three extra large eggs unseasoned. Now I'm going to season one and a half cup of one date old rice with dark soy sauce. This is one tablespoon but I'm only using half and saving half for later. Now I'm cooking the vegetables, which is one and a half cup of carrots and peas, three stalks of green onion, three garlic cloves, and one stem of Thai basil. I also added the remainder of the seasoning from the beginning of the video. Stir that for about 30 seconds or so, then start adding the other ingredients, which is the bacon, the eggs, and then I'm going to add in one tablespoon of oyster sauce and one tablespoon of chili garlic sauce. So I just wanted to point out my bad on the angle, y'all. I didn't realize that it was uh, cut off. Okay, so now I'm gonna add in the remainder of the dark soy sauce, and I'm gonna give it a good mix, maybe about 45 seconds to a minute or so. And per usual, I always bring out a second spatula or something like that because it's so much easier to stir everything together. So at this point, the fried rice is pretty much done. I'm just going to top it off with some green onion and cilantro. I use three stalks of green onion and half of a bundle of the cilantro. And there you have it. Here's me adding the cilantro and mixing it really well. And now it's ready to assemble. This is enough for four servings, but I only had one pineapple. Here's the finished product and it's ready to serve.